Ray again from the Rent Roll Broker and today I'd like to just talk to you about benchmarking one of your key costs involved in the property management rent roll. What is your most expensive expense with the rent roll? It has to be your staff. Staff would traditionally make up 40 to 50 percent and on smaller agencies sometimes more than 50 percent of the expense. So the more profitable you can make each property manager, then the more profitable your portfolio is going to become. So today's subject is benchmarking your key cost. Let's pick a traditional agency with 300 properties, 2.5 staff of property managers looking after those 300 properties, where the average rent is say $200 a week, and you have an average management fee of only 5%. So you've been building your portfolio by buying the market, as we say. On those figures, your income is going to be just over $200,000 a year, which means that your 2.5 property managers are averaging an income of $87,000 each per annum. So if you have a cost of $45,000 per property manager, then that is costing you 51.5% of your management fee income. A fairly high ratio because your portfolio income is poor because you have been discounting your fees to build your portfolio. Let's go to the other end of the scale. Let's look at an agency that has 300 properties, exactly the same number of properties, 2.5 property managers, exactly the same number of property managers, and the average rent is still $280 a week. But in this agency, charging 8% management fee instead of 5%. The income is $350,000 a year instead of 218. The average income per property manager, which is your key cost is $140,000 compared to $87,000. Therefore, if each of your property managers is costing you the same as before, $45,000 on an average per year, then your total cost for salary and wages is 32% compared to 51%. Can you see how much more profitable the second agency is in comparison to the first one? If you were going to buy one of those rent rolls, which one would you want to buy? An agency with $218,000 worth of management fee income or an agency with $350,000 worth of income? I know which one I'd be buying. Okay, so let's do the exercise for your agency. All you have to do is work out what your management fee income is for the year and then divide that by the number of property managers that you have. A very simple exercise, and yet it will show you how strong your agency is. Anything over $100,000 a year income per property manager means you are doing quite well. And if you can get up around that $130,000, $140,000, you're doing very well. If you're only bringing in eighty dollars or $90,000 a year, then you need to do some homework and work on what you can do to maximise your fee income. And it may mean increasing management fees, introducing ancillary income fees. Um, whatever you can do, you need to lift your performance and lift the income for your business. Because at the end of the day, that is what is going to be saleable. And the more profitable, the more attractive, the more saleable, and the better the price you're going to achieve. I'm Chris Goodway from The Rent Roll Broker. Thanks for listening and look forward to catching up with you next time. Goodbye.